What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about financial freedom. What it is, what it isn't, and what a lot of people out there are doing to take the steps to get themselves to the point of becoming financially free. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, grab some DYDSS merchandise, and of course, come and join us in the VIP club. Everything is linked in the description. So today, I wanted to talk about financial freedom, and I think it's probably pretty fitting to talk about today, being that this video comes out on Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk about financial freedom, and before we can get into what financial freedom is, because I personally believe it can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. I think if you ask 10 different people, you're gonna get 10 different answers. Before we get into my own personal definition of what financial freedom means, I wanna talk about two examples of what financial freedom is not, or at the very least, doesn't need to be. Number one, living a luxurious, lavish lifestyle. That does not need to equate to financial freedom. Financial freedom doesn't need to be about wearing a Rolex on each wrist and driving a Lamborghini and living in this nice big giant mansion and taking a private jet to your weekly vacation spots. It doesn't need to be like that. That's not what financial freedom necessarily has to be. And the other example of what financial freedom doesn't necessarily have to be is quitting your job, saying screw you and firing your boss and retiring young or just quitting everything and it doesn't need to be like that either. You hear a lot about this from the younger crowd, people from my generation, I guess you can say. You hear a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm going to retire before I'm 30. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to retire young and live the rest of my life doing whatever I want." That's something that I never understood, especially coming from the male perspective because if you're a man, your work is your purpose. Whatever that work may be, there's value there. There's something of importance there. And sure, nobody likes going to work and spending 40, 50, 60 hours a week building up your company's reputation and future. But guess what? At the end of the week, we go home feeling accomplished. We go home feeling like we achieved something. We go home feeling that we provided value to the world or to the marketplace, that's our sense of purpose. So I wouldn't want to necessarily get rich and quit my job and live the rest of my life just kind of kicking back on the couch, no. So that's not what financial freedom necessarily needs to be about. My own personal definition of what financial freedom actually means is this. Having enough money coming in passively so that it takes care of each and every one of my bills so that working actively becomes a choice. Let me break that down and explain what I mean. Making enough money passively, money that I'm not clocking in or clocking out for or necessarily doing anything to earn, passive income coming in. And yeah, at the very beginning, it starts in very small increments. Oh, and also, by the way, just to be clear, Am I at that point, at this stage of my life? Heck no, absolutely not. I am nowhere close. But brick by brick by brick, every step of the way, I'm getting a little bit closer. So passive income. Money that's coming in passively, also referred to as mailbox money. Passive income being earned, and enough of it being earned, to take care of the monthly bills. If you're paying, I don't know, $1,000 or $2,000 a month in rent, and you have $1,000 or $2,000 a month in passive income coming in, takes care of rent. A couple hundred dollars a month for food, and you have enough passive income taking care of that. Again, I'm nowhere near this, but hopefully one day I'll be able to achieve this. And then the last part, so that active income becomes a choice or actively working becomes a choice. Like I said before, financial freedom doesn't necessarily need to be about quitting your job. That's not what it needs to be. Financial freedom is all about freedom. It's all about options. It's all about choices. It's about doing things on your terms and living life your way. 
I think you can get to that point and say to yourself, you know what, I like my job so much, I'm going to stay. I have more than enough passive income coming in every single month to take care of every last one of my bills and still have enough left over for other activities or doing whatever. I could quit my job today. I can retire today. I can send my, my boss a text and say, hey, you're fired. I can do that today. But I don't want to because I want that sense of fulfillment. I want that sense of purpose that I get out of my job. Imagine that. Imagine having a job that you enjoy so much, you don't even go there for the paycheck. Sure, the paycheck is always going to be nice, but imagine going there for something much more than the paycheck. Imagine going there just because you enjoy being there. Or, even better, maybe reducing yourself from full-time to part-time. That way you're still working, you're still actively participating, you still have that job, you're still getting that satisfaction, that fulfillment, that sense of purpose, but now you have more free time on your hands to do what you want. Maybe start a business. Maybe get into a hobby that you've been wanting to get into. Maybe get into gardening, maybe get into painting, whatever it is that you want to do. At that point, you'll start to actually feel financial freedom. And you can participate in these hobbies. You can paint, you can garden, and guess what? You still have paychecks coming in. So there are a lot of different ways people go about doing this. A lot of different ways. A list so long you can't even keep track of anything. But the big three that most people talk about when it comes to building wealth, it's not about preserving wealth, this step anyway. This is about building wealth. You can go about it in three main ways. Business, stocks, real estate. Business, we'll start there. You can start a business for yourself. Preferably an online business or something that can be automated in a way so that, yeah, it's going to take time to build it, but once it gets to a certain point, you can go hands off. You can hire somebody else to do what needs to be done. Or you got those residuals coming in from the business you've done in the past. Reoccurring orders, for example. That's one step right there. So even though you're not going out there and selling your product, people can still come back for more whether you're out there selling or not. Just one example. Stocks, another example. Building up a long-term portfolio, something that you plan on retiring off of. And by the way, you don't need to sell anything at all. You do not need to sell your portfolio. You don't need to sell a single share. And you'll still have money coming in via dividends and distributions arguably the most hands-off way of earning passive income and you can go the rest of your life never selling anything and you can live off those dividends you can live off those distributions so long as you have enough coming in to take care of your monthly expenses or by the way some of the monthly expenses imagine you start saying to yourself hey you know what I don't need to make you know a couple thousand dollars a month just yet I'd be happy earning I don't know, $100 or $200 or enough to pay the phone bill or enough to pay your car insurance, whatever the case may be. Start there. On day one, you shouldn't say to yourself, okay, I need to figure out a way to build this thing up to the point where it's taking care of every single bill I'm ever going to have to pay for the rest of my life. No, start with the phone bill. Get the phone bill covered first. Or the gas bill. Or, or the car insurance or something like that. Start there. And then, of course, the biggest way you can go about building wealth long term, and this is not something that I personally do, not yet, real estate. The only reason I haven't gotten involved in real estate just yet is because it's incredibly expensive to get your foot in the door, no pun intended there, but there's kind of a barrier to entry right there. It's a big purchase. If you want to go and buy a house, you're going to need to fork over quite a bit of cash. But if you go and buy yourself a rental property, you get that rental income every month. As long as your tenants are paying rent, you're getting paid. You're getting a paycheck. And slowly but surely, that pays off the house. You're not paying off the house. The renters are paying off the house. 
slowly but surely, month by month, brick by brick, step by step, you are moving in that direction. So again, there are a lot of different ways you can go about building wealth for the long term. There are a lot of different ways you can go about achieving financial freedom. And again, it all starts with that very first step and setting a small goal for yourself. Don't say to yourself today, if your net worth is close to zero, don't say to yourself, oh, I'm, I need to become a millionaire. No. You need to figure out a way to get your smallest bill paid every single month. Have enough money coming in passively to take care of the smallest bill. When you get to that point, move on to the next bill. Little by little, step by step, brick by brick. And eventually, you can get to the point of achieving complete and total financial freedom, which I think is a lot of people's goals. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Are you striving to achieve financial freedom? And if so, what are you doing? What are you building? What are you working on to get yourself to that point? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, grab yourself some DYDSS merchandise, and of course, come and join us in the VIP club. Everything is linked in the description. Thanks everybody for stopping by and tuning into this episode of Monday Motivation. Go kill it. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.